Kapeleka tena Yesu kukilima. Wewe kipitia mimi magoti mimi taletea wecheo ya dunia mzima. Yesu kasema wewe peti toka kumechwa ngo. Imeandikwa utabudu Bwana Mungu wako na kumtumikia yeye peke tu. Shetani vijare moshi nyuma. Bani ya yeye. What's happening, beautiful people? This is the Two Chapiana Hour with your girl, Sonia Pinto. It is a chilly, chilly Friday, but you know what? I'm about to warm it up with you guys with the conversation that we are about to have with my guest here, Tito Monaco. How are you doing, Tito? I'm fine. I'm doing good. Yeah? Doing good. What are you, thank wh- you for having me. <laughs> thank you for coming. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so, so much. What are you grateful for today? Man, I'm grateful for everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm grateful for everything. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know. and the, the way the world is going now, you have to be grateful no yeah. matter what. Yeah, yeah. 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 that is true. Yeah. So Tito is a bassist, a producer, and an artist. Yeah, I would true. want to know... When did you start your journey with music? I've been in the music industry for a very long time. I started I started learning how to play bass at around 2002. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Now well, you can count. <laughs> two, two until now. That's a lot That's, of years. Yeah, it's like 18 years. Yeah. Why the bass? I don't know. I think bass is fun. Mm-hmm. I wanted to, uh, I start, actually I started playing percussion first. Okay. Then I was like, okay, no girls looking at me on stage. Then I was like, okay, <laughs> So I, I played percussion for almost two years. Then I went direct, gi- I, I switched to guitar. Mm-hmm. Then after guitar, I was like, okay, maybe I should try something different. Then The bass. bass yeah. yeah. Since then I've been playing bass. Nice. Did yeah. you teach yourself how to play or did you go to school? My brother was there for me. My big brother, his name is Daniel Monaco. Mm-hmm. He started teaching me how to play. Mm-hmm. So I'll say Monaco was the one who was there actually for me. Nice. From the beginning, yeah. Okay, nice. Taught me most of the stuff that I'm playing now. Okay, so we can say that your family is a, f- is a musical family. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. Your parents support your music? Of course, from the beginning, it was not easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, music was for people... People who are not serious with life. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then after they see, I could start playing, paying some bill mm-hmm. <laughs> at home. They, they was like, "Oh, okay, this is serious. Then it's you serious can continue. Business. You can continue. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now I n- I heard that you are the f- a former bass player for Saudi Soul. Oh. Wow, how did you know, how did you know <laughs> that? <laughs> I did my research, Kidogo. Oh. Yeah. I would want to know when mm. that started. When did you, you know, get into playing for them? I think I met with Soul Soul. It was a show by Safari. It was a show that was, it, it was called what? Safaricom Tourways, Safaricom Live, something like that. Mm-hmm. They were playing, they were playing there. And also, I was there also playing for another band. Yeah. Yeah. So after that project ended, uh, I received co- I received po- call from Polycap Polycap Otien, mm-hmm. the lead guitarist from Salty Soul. Mm-hmm. It's like, hey, dude, can you come in the studio and play maybe one song for us? Uh-huh. Uh, I was like, okay. I went to the studio. I found Salty Soul there. The song was Living eh? Live and yeah. Die in Africa. Live and Die in Africa. Uh-huh. I played that song. Yeah. Since then, they were like, hey, man, if you if you if you have time, mm-hmm. can you just play with us? I was like, yeah. 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 
then uh, from there i played for them for almost four and a half years wow yeah nice yeah. you mentioned that you were playing for another band before saudi soul i've been playing for juliani since he started since he started juliani, yeah, wow the hip-hop artist. nice since he started when and where did you meet juliani this is amazing <laughs> no they're the one who looking for me I don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't look for, you don't I, look for people no, I don't look for people they look for me yes <laughs> how many other people have you gotten to work with oh my god almost everybody i've played for nameless mm-hmm. i've played for red sun red sun was the first person who took me to dubai mm-hmm. yeah i went to i went with red sun to dubai yeah i played for who else fena uh-huh i've played for juakali I've i saw for octopizo, octopizo yes yeah octopizo a few months ago uh-huh a six 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 city Nairobi, Kisumu, Eldoret, Mombasa, I don't know. I yes, yeah. yes. How was that tour with Octopizo? Uh, it happened uh, around March, yeah, if I'm not wrong. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Octopizo is a great guy, he's my friend. And he's also crazy a little bit, but he's a really good guy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I like playing with Octopizo. <laughs> yeah. Especially anything, hip-hop. Mm-hmm. Ah, man, I love hip-hop. Nice. Yeah. Can you tell me the experiences you're having with playing with all these different, but f- also famous people? How is that for you? Do you see them as normal people? Or sometimes are you starstruck, you know? Not really. For me, it's like, I'm just... It, part of my job mm-hmm. yeah, it's part of my job mm-hmm. every time i'm working with them it's like i'm just working it's like just a job yeah, yeah but sometimes it's just too but sometimes it's just too much fun <laughs> and if you're not careful you can you, you can lose your way it's easy to lose your way yeah especially in such a big nice industry, industry. yeah so you've gone on so many tours yes so many which one has been your favorite so far and why huh <laughs> I think I'll say when I was in South Seoul in Paris. Mm-hmm. That th- that that is the place that I wanted to stay. Mm-hmm. Paris was like my favorite city. Mm-hmm. Everything was just beautiful, food, people. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. Paris was my favorite. Mm-hmm. Then I also went with with South Seoul where? Not South Seoul. With with Fee. Do you know Fee? Yes, yeah. I know Fee. Yeah, Fee took me to Russia. Wow. Yeah, I think that that was the biggest stage I ever played in my life. Yeah. That was just too huge. Nice. Yeah, I would say it was nice and it was also hard because of the racism. Mm. The level of racism in Russia is just too crazy. How how did you deal with that? I don't know. Mm. I, I think most of them I was just quiet. Mm-hmm. You know, I think the band member we were just quiet because First of all, no one will greet you. No one will talk to you. No one. Will, it was really? it was that bad. Yeah, oh Russia. No. It, Russia was crazy. Yeah, but oh, but it was, it was fun at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice. Yeah. What other instruments can you play? Piano. Piano. I play piano. Mm-hmm. I do play guitar. You play the guitar. Yeah, yes. Percussion, as I said. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to learn trumpet, but oh my god! Uh, <laughs> Why? Trumpet, the hardest <laughs> instrument you can learn. Yes. Yeah. Have you taught other people how to play instruments? Yes, a few. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How is so? We can say that you are a teacher as well. I'm also a teacher, mm-hmm. but I really don't. I don't enjoy teaching. Really? Why? Kwanini. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, just, I think I just like I like playing I like being in the studio mm-hmm. producing music mm-hmm. I like be out there playing on the stage yes I can teach but <laughs> it's not for it. you yeah, <laughs> so mm-hmm. you get into production when did you get into production hmm. I think I think seven or I think seven years ago mm-hmm. I went I went in in Nairobi in town around Nation Center I bought uh-huh. bought my first laptop mm-hmm but I, I also I also went and buy what do you call it audio interface uh-huh. then I was like let me try make some beats make some beats I yeah make some beats there's like oh I can do this mm-hmm. I started learning how to produce music mm-hmm. then up since then mm. what what inspired you to get into it producing music yes I think it's just a different world what do you call it ni dunia tofauti it's just a, you know you being there with laptop uh-huh. and going through a lot of what do you call it what do you call it uh, mm-hmm. what do you call it yeah the software uh-huh. yeah the software different yeah. software mm-hmm. trying to 
make your voice sound very different making your like instrument sound different it's just fun yeah yeah being on laptop on machine is just awesome mm, nice yeah what music have you produced and is it out is it so ekunamali tunaza and alafu tuseme yes this is music that tito has yes, produced uh, there's some on, there's some music that i've produced for people it's on it's already on spotify mm-hmm. could you uh, name a few tafadhali butwambie on spot now right now yeah. yes it's there mm-hmm. yes it's there yeah it's yeah. there mm-hmm. in a few minutes i'll mm-hmm. check on, on the phone then I'll, i'll send you the link nice check it mm-hmm. um what else Mm-hmm. Oh also I'm on Fiverr. Okay. Fiverr is a it, it's an online platform mm-hmm. where people from all over all over the world they send you their music. Their music, Then yes. You can produce, you can mix, you can master, you mm-hmm. can play the bass. Mhm. I've done that for almost three years now and I've played for more than three 350 people. Really? Yeah. 350. Yes. For this one I'll advise any musician who is struggling out there out there mm-hmm. just go online mm-hmm. register on fiverr.com mm-hmm. and start working from your house from your house yeah, you you just laptop mm-hmm. audio interface and your guitar nice. you make money from your yeah. house it's, i think it's a nice thing for musician so you get to also interact with other people exactly yeah and how do you choose who to work with you don't choose they choose you they choose yeah, you they just go on your on, on your, your profile, profile. uh-huh yeah, they, they listen what you've done before mm mm-hmm. and then they'll call to you they send you music mm-hmm. yeah nice you get paid okay nice. how is how is the pay is the pay good the pay is good okay of course from big, when you start you'll start you'll start low then mm-hmm. when your level start going up mm-hmm. then you start to also raise your raise your All right yes, yeah. nice you have the songs i want to talk about the songs mm-hmm. that you have online before and now we get to talk about zaire yes yes there is duda can you please tell us about mm-hmm. that and how it came to being yeah duda is my it's a single it's a music single that i composed actually for my mama uh-huh she's not dead she's alive she's alive uh-huh. so i was like why am, why Why am, I, why am I waiting for my mama to pass away to compose mm. for a beautiful song? Yeah, and like, you can do it now. Let me do it now when she's still there. She's strong, she's alive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was just singing about her. It's a Swahili song, so yeah. it's on Spotify. You can go and listen to it. Nice, yeah, nice. It's Afro, Afro jazz. Mm-hmm. That's the music that I, that's the genre that I love a lot. The genre. Yeah. How would you describe your sound? Can we can we even describe it? Can we say that this is how it is or have a couple of genres in it? When you listen to my music of course you, of course you of course hey my English is Ni sawa tu acha tunaweza ongea kwa Kiswahili ni sawa. When you yeah. listen to my music mm-hmm. you hear a lot of trumpet, special trumpet. Yeah. Uh piano. It's just is it's afro jazz mm-hmm. when you hear it i don't have to tell you this is not afro jazz yeah. you'll just hear it yeah. afro jazz and i don't need to tell you that mm-hmm. you'll hear a trumpet you'll hear live drums mm-hmm. everything's live nice yes yeah what is your favorite instrument because you're talking about so many beautiful instruments what is your favorite bass guitar the bass guitar yes. and which one is the one that you want to learn next I don't want to learn any instrument. Mm-hmm. I just want to go back to where I started, which was percussion. Okay. Yeah, I want to start learning percussion again. Mm-hmm. Yes. Nice. Which I have it already in the house. You have it in yes, the house? I'm just lazy. <laughs> 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 just need to start practicing it again. <laughs> Then let's yeah. talk about Johanna, which is so so beautiful. It's so beautiful featuring Fariji Napa. Fariji Napa. Yes. Oh, that's my guy. Yeah, can you also tell us your friendship with Fariji and how it is working with him? First of all, Fariji mm-hmm. is my homeboy. You know, I was mm. born in Congo. Uh-huh. I was born in Congo. Mm-hmm. I met Fariji in Nairobi, but I knew Fariji since I was in Congo. So mm-hmm. when Fariji came in Nairobi, I was like, "Hey, yo, can we do a song?" Mm-hmm. It was like, "Which song can we do together?" I was like, "Just come home and then we'll make something together." Mm-hmm. He came home, we jump in the studio and we came up with Johanna. Yeah. Yes. Tell us the story about Johanna. Johanna is a, it's a it's, it's like a gospel song okay mm-hmm. it's not like it's a gospel song uh-huh. one day i was going to mombasa mm-hmm. then we stopped somewhere to eat i think it's mtitwa mtitwa day yes, yes. mtitwa day uh-huh. then 
there was a there was a group of the kids mm-hmm. uh walikuwa na okelea they were like in a small river uh-huh. they were showering they were, mm-hmm. i was like oh this is cool this is what we used to do in congo mm-hmm. yeah i was like oh can i come up with something mm-hmm. about about that then mm-hmm. i went home then i was like yo wana mubatiza jieli batiza yesu ndani ya muto ya yordani i composed the song mm-hmm. but I, i tried to also to come up with verse but mm-hmm. it was very difficult for me to to, to write, write the verse yeah. then I, that's that, that's the place i call i called now for Reggie to come and write the verse to write the verse yes yeah So I can imagine when you're thinking about people to work with for example now you say how you thought about Fariji and you're yes. like this is the best person yeah. how do you know who to pick like how how is that process like of course what do you look for of course you you have to look for someone who's really good Mm-hmm. But is really good more than you. Yeah. Yeah, you don't, you don't just pick someone because <laughs> you're friend because because you came up you grew up together. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. Even even playing on stage when you tell me to choose a musician to play with I'd, I will not take my friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If you tell me Tito please get me a band to play with I, won't, I, won't, I will not go and pick my friend. I'll mm. go and take the best in the industry. Nice. Yeah. How is it working with different bands? It must be so interesting because you're working with different people, yes, exactly. different experiences. Yeah. Can you tell us a bit of insight about how that is for you? I love working with different band. Mhm. Because also it will make you grow mm-hmm. when you're working with different people. Mhm. Yeah. I think every band that you're working with working you'll met maybe you've worked with keyboard is keyboard player before mm. uh-huh. but the drum is new mm-hmm. or the guitarist is new. So mm-hmm. It's nice to switch sometimes mm-hmm. it's nice, nice. Instead of just working with just same, the, same, the same same people yeah, the same people then we have baba munu featuring kaima mwiti and natalie can you tell us about that one oh baba mungu yes. yeah baba mungu was my first single mm mm-hmm. Yeah and also Kaima Mwiti is mm-hmm. the guy who play almost i think all my songs especially piano is the piano. pianist yeah uh-huh. he has played all my song piano mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. the guy is just genius yeah yeah so how was this song for you and what is the story about baba mungu it's, it's actually it's a baba mungu it, has, it, it is a prayer mm-hmm. in congo when kid, kid you put food in front of the kid it's uh-huh. like it's like in congo every kid they have the same prayer for the food Okay. Yeah, okay. So, so it's like you're all taught the same prayer. Prayer for the food. Wow. Which is like Baba Mungu tunaleta wewe asante. Bariki chakula ile Baba Mungu asante. That's the prayer that every, every kid, in Congo kid knows. Yeah. So okay. it was just that that prayer. Mm. Now I switch it to a song. Now. A song. Yes. Nice. It, yeah. That is so so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Please tell us about band coaching Saturdays. I saw you post something about that. Yes. Uh my partner Natalie, mm-hmm. she has a Shout out Natalie, she's, she's here. here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Natalie she has a uh, a group of kids that she she has been teaching for a while. Mhm. Uh now she wanted me to come in and teach take the the instrument part where I can only teach the the band the, band. the instrument yes so from now on I'll be I'll be teaching I'll be joining I'll jo- I'll join Natalie to teach the kids how mm. to play instrument and mm. arranging songs mm-hmm. while Natalie she'll be teaching the voice okay and at the end of at the end of at the end of the 10 week class is 10 week class 10 week class I uh-huh. will do a f- like a full course at for oh, the parents nice. and I would love to get yeah. an invitation yeah. to come so cool, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. definitely so I know um mm-hmm. you don't like teaching but how is it working with kids Work, working with kids is actually really n- nice because kids actually understand music faster than grown up really yeah, of course <laughs> yeah, <you know. laughs> yes of you course you should figure out to the 5 30 years hey, teaching mm. such a person yeah any normal it's hard. Norma, it's yeah hard. yeah it's hard mm. so the kids mm-hmm. when you teach kids kids they don't forgot mm. yeah yeah Interesting. Yeah. Um and we speak about kids. You're a father of two? I'm father of two. How is that? Oh my god. <laughs> He's like, "Oh my god." It's, <laughs> it's hard at the same time, especially mm-hmm. when the first one she's eight. Mhm. The first one she's eight and the small one 
he's he's one year we are years yeah oh my god they took a lot of energy <laughs> yeah because they pl- they man they play the whole day mm-hmm. the, f- the small <laughs> one he w- he always wake up from 5:30 he's awake yeah so have to be oh awake. no you mean get 5 am club yes, by must it's, it's, it's a must <laughs> yeah he start playing from 5:30 oh wow yeah. and the big one oh my god they don't get tired they yeah. play the whole day it's, it's fun at the same time you get you also get tired <laughs> yeah good it's, it's fun it's, it's fun, fun. It's how fun. Are, how are you able to balance being a father and also your work how how is that balance for you Sometimes you just let it flow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When they are there playing, mm-hmm. sometimes you just have to sit also with them and just be a father and play with kids. Yeah. And when they sleep, <laughs> you go in the now studio. Now you go and you work. Yeah, you work. <laughs> nice. That's how it works. Yeah, you can't just do what you want all the time. Yeah. 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 I'm very, very curious. Yeah. And Natalie, don't kill me. How did you meet Natalie? <laughs> First time I saw Natalie. Mm-hmm. Oh. Was it love at first sight? No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Really. He no. said not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> I met Natalie at museum. She was there with, with her friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a concert. I was playing for Blinky Bill. Blinky Bill. Yeah, that's long time ago. Wow. I was uh-huh. playing with Blinky Bill. Then Natalie with her friend, they were backstage. After mm-hmm. I think after finishing, she called me. And we talk a little bit. Mm-hmm. Not not about love or no, just work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, to your good something like that. <laughs> she even called me. She had a she had a South Academy those days, long time ago. Yeah. She even called me to come in <laughs> and uh, go like, go nah. teach. I was <laughs> like, yes, but next day I did. I did. <laughs> Why? <No>. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I was not interested. Yeah. Yeah. Then the next day we met at what? What they call at Blacket and Wine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I was playing for Kanjimbu Goa. Mm-hmm. And we talked a little bit. Then that's it. <laughs> then we met another concert in Kibera. I was uh-huh. playing for Giuliani. Uh-huh. I was like, no. Then we met. We met so many places. Yeah. Uh, then <laughs> four years ago, we met at Safari Com Tuaweza. Mm-hmm. Then I started. In, I started follow. To fall for I started her. throwing some love for her. Yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Do you guys help each other with a uh, music? Yes. Yeah. We do. yeah we how do. how is that for you guys because I don't know how you balance it out when yes, you're my partner, but yes, I also have to listen to what you're telling me and you're giving me constructive criticism. How is that for you guys? <laughs> you know, sometimes it's fun, but sometimes also it's hard because she knows a lot of stuff about music. Yeah. Also me and all You lot also of know, st- yeah. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes we can argue about I'll do something small. <laughs> small, yeah. Maybe it's just, <laughs> maybe it's just playing o- a C, but me, I'm not feeling... Me, the I'm C, like, no, you it's not want C. the me, B. Me, I'm not, no, it's G, you can yeah. tell me it's a C. Yeah. She's like, no, it's not C. But you have to sit together and, of course, after arguing, you have to... <laughs> you have to come, have to come together and, and you're like happen. yes yeah. this yeah. is how it is yeah. beautiful I I argue a lot but yeah it's fine I love it I love it you guys have both work and love going I'm here for it all now I want us to talk about Zaire mm. tell us about this project of yours it's dropping on the 30th of August yes. Zaire is actually a very simple song I was like, like, I was uh, just sitting home. Mm-hmm. I was in the studio. Mm-hmm. So instead of composing the lyrics of the music first, mm-hmm. I normally starting with drums. I always okay. put drums together, mm-hmm. then put bass, mm-hmm. then I'll send it to Kaima, yeah. the pianist. The pianist. Put pianist. Then I'll send it maybe, I don't know, maybe Paris, maybe New York. Mm-hmm. Then put trumpets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I f- I finish, I'll finish all the instrumental first. Mm-hmm. Then I'll... I'll I'll sit down, then mm-hmm. start composing on top of it. Mm-hmm. Then I was like, should I compose song about Jora or Zaire? Uh-huh. Then I think Zaire was catchy. Mm-hmm. Then I was like, let me just do something. Mm-hmm. So when I was a kid, we had in Congo we had a f- we had four rivers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so one river was Ngezi, mm-hmm. uh, Share, mm-hmm. Nyargimba, and Nyamkawa. Mm-hmm. So I was just singing about all those rivers. Uh-huh. So to m- like if if I wanted to 
put water on my garden mm-hmm. my dad will send me in ngezi or in share or nyarigimba because mm-hmm. the water was not really clean to okay. drink okay okay but if i wanted to fetch a drinking water mm-hmm. i'll go to ngezi mm-hmm. that was a clean water yeah. so everything that i was talking on the song is just about all those different river my family my parents were sending me to yeah to take to, t- to take to water to take water yeah. i've noticed a lot of your music stems from congo yes how is your music received there do people know about you have you gone and performed what do they think about your music you know i started rele- releasing my mu- music like one and a half years ago mm-hmm. yeah because mm-hmm. i've been I've been I've been playing for playing. people a lot. Yes. Yeah, now releasing re- releasing music mm-hmm. has been like one and a half years. That's why I want to sing more about my home. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So people know me in Congo because my dad was famous there. Okay. My dad my dad name was Valate Monaco. He was famous in Congo and also famous in Nairobi. Okay. Yeah. So was he a musician or what was yeah, he famous he for? He was a he was a musician. He was oh. a gospel musician. He was working okay. in church in Redeemed Gospel Church in Uruma. Mm. He was there for a very long time. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yes. So mo, I want to push more my music on that side. Mm-hmm. Congo, West Africa. West Africa, yeah. yes. Yes, yeah. Why the transition from playing music to now being your own artist and being a musician? Ah, uh, even wish I started long time ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think mm-hmm. I was just I was just having too much fun, fun <laughs> just with playing music, playing with going on music, tours, so going on the tour. Yeah, that's the reason I started late. Mm-hmm. But I wish I started early to sing. Yeah, which I, th- I don't think it's late. You can start. It's anything. never too yeah. late. Yeah, it's never too late. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What is uh, the way forward? Are we? Are you going to release an album? What's what's going to happen? What should we be expecting? I think for for the next maybe one or two years from now, I'll mm-hmm. be just releasing singles. Singles. Every, after every two months, single, single, mm-hmm. single, single. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then after single, then I'll push. I'll push the album, mm. and also I wanna start playing more with with band. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Like playing in small club here and there. Mm. Like, yeah. Can you please tell us your process of making music? Um, you know, we always see the finished product. How how is the process like? Can you just take us through maybe what inspires the song and then you come up with the beat? Tell us how that process is until we finally see the end product. You know, now in 2022, mm-hmm. making music is actually very easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mhm. Because everything's there online. Yeah. Most of people who have played my actually on my record. I've been, uh, I've even sit with them in one room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe just Natalie. Yes. My partner. Yeah. Other people I always send them music. Mm-hmm. So for me nowadays making music, I'll say it's easy. Mm-hmm. In which time, I'll be I'll come I'll go in the studio. Mm-hmm. I'll create beat. Yeah. I'll put my bass line on top of it. Okay. Then I'll decide should I send music? Uh, should I send it in Paris? Mm. <laughs> 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 should I send <laughs> it in Paris or New York yes. or or uh, should I just send it here in Nairobi for someone to put piano or guitar? Mm. That is just up for me to decide. Yeah. You, you now they don't need to go in the studio and uh, Record, and record and, and yeah, you have to stay there. You, you stay wait. There. No, yeah, no, no. you can do everything when you knew. at home. At home, at yeah. home. Yes, that's what I do now. Okay. Yeah. I would want to know why you came to Kenya and yeah, what inspired your move here? How long ago did you come? I came. I came. I came to Nairobi in 2001. Actually, mm-hmm. I came to visit my dad because he was sick. Mm-hmm. He was sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah and we had a holiday for for school in Congo. Mhm. I came to Nairobi to visit my dad in mm-hmm. 2001. Mhm. Then after two weeks when I was when, when I was around in when I was in, when I was here mm-hmm. my dad passed away. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then there was a war in Congo people started fighting and yeah. I could not go back. Mm. We, we decided to stay. Okay. I came to Nairobi when all my family my mother my two my two sister and yeah. my two brother they were all around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I came then we decided to stay. 
Okay, yeah. nice. But and when I came, I was not playing anything, mm. like playing music. I started learning music from Nairobi. From Nairobi. Yes, yes. And where, when and why music? And how did that come to being? I think because everybody in the family, it was just, it was just natural. Because mm-hmm. I remember like, when I started playing bass, mm-hmm. I think it was around, it, I, I think I played it for s- like six months in the house. Mm-hmm. Then I started playing in church. Okay. It, it was like a very short time. Yeah. Yeah, for me f- f- to learn. Is there a bass player you look up to? Well, like where in Nairobi? Um, maybe even worldwide. Yes, and uh-huh. also in Nairobi, I'll say yes. Yes. Yeah. Can you uh, tell us in Nairobi and also worldwide? In Nairobi, of course, there's a... There's a there's a young man by the name Mike Onyi. Uh-huh. Hey, Mike Onyi, if you're listening to me, man, you're dope. <laughs> yeah, Mike Onyi. Mike Onyi, Mike Onyi is yeah. that th- he's a kid. He's, he's dope. Mm-hmm. He's really good. Yeah. Uh, we have, of course, we have Moise. Mm-hmm. Moise Basinza. Mm-hmm. He's a Congolese guy. He's really good. Mm-hmm. We have Isaac, Isaac Meto. Mm-hmm. We have, I have Gito. Mm-hmm. Those people, man, yeah. they inspire me a lot. All right. Yeah. I- I'd like to know, um, now that you're going to be releasing your own music, um, let's say if I come and I want you to play for my band, yeah. is that something that you'll be doing as well or no? Of course, I love to listen to for your music first. If I don't like it, I would come. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you won't if stop. So you won't stop playing for other uh, no, other no, no, artists. Not at all, not okay, at all. okay. But if you call me, uh-huh. like, Tito, come. Can you play for me? I, I'll go to Spotify mm-hmm. and listen to your stuff first. If I don't like it, I'll come. If I like it, really? Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what what do you like? I love something that sounds good. Mm-hmm. Everything that sounds good, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, play, I'll play. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So Tito has his guitar here, and you want to play for us. Oh, is that right? Yes, I want oh. you to play live. Oh it's God. recording, and I'm going to upload this on YouTube. Oh, my goodness. Yes. <laughs> okay, <let me> try. <laughs> okay, please. <laughs> Oh, Natalie, you have to back me, back me up. Yeah, let me let me help Natalie. <laughs> Just okay, let me try something. All it's right. a, it's, a, it's my old song that. I've recorded it, but I haven't released it. Okay. So let me try it. Please let me do. See if I remember. Please, please, please. <laughs> okay. Natalie, are you ready? I'm here. Akuzunga makoloni ni baboti na yo balema kaluka yo. Bakenda kina poto Koluka vi Wana keili bella Abungi nzelate Azali koya Papa fana na yo Mama tika kolela No, 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 no No, 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 no Ako zonga mkolo nini Baboti na yo vale makalukayo Akenda kina poto Koluka vi Wana keili bella Abungi nzelate Azali koya Papa fana na yo Mama tika kolela No, 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 no Na lovi zonga ndako Zonga ndako mwana Baboti na yo bazali kukufa na nzala Zonga ndako mwana Zonga ndako mwana Baboti na yo bazali kukufa na nzala Zonga ndako mwana Le mise yeli kwenda Amerika paspore ka espire Ye pali rutia kongo Yeli pama kule kupama ye 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 Ale mi se dada 
Le misa yale kwa na Amerika bila takuambia wazazi wake mwana masheri bali pika simu bapali pata ah bali ngali abapali mona ye le mise mutoto abatu ama na male mise mama zonga na komona zonga na komona baboti na yo bazali kukufa na nzala zonga na komona na lo bizonga na ko zonga na komona Wow, wow, wow. That's an old wow. song, old that song. That is beautiful. Yeah. How did you know that you could sing? Did it come naturally to you or did Natalie help you along the way? <laughs> Natalie, of course, Natalie helped me a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shouting at me. Stand straight. Put your neck straight. Uh-huh. Put your back straight. That's mm-hmm. Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> And how long did this take for you to now get your voice? I don't know just the matter of time also and just sit with your instrument and practice mm-hmm. yeah practice and nice yeah. what advice would you give somebody who looks up to you who wants to do some what who wants to do exactly what you're doing i would say if you want to start for up if you want to go to music mm-hmm. you have to create time for it yeah especially time you have to create time mm mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of time you mm-hmm. have to practice mm-hmm. uh, you have to read actually also not just practice practice you have to read music and those things mm-hmm. they all help even even if you don't read too much just have the understanding of music, music. the theory a little bit mm-hmm. it really help mm. yeah what has been your highlight so far in your career the one thing that you're like yes i accomplished this and this is a highlight in my career what would you say is that moment for you having a family oh yeah that is so <laughs> yeah, nice <having> a <laughs> it's just yeah. a beautiful thing yeah yeah nice yeah. especially a loving family a cool family <laughs> yes really cool yeah <laughs> No stress. <laughs> yeah. So you've played in so so many bands for for so many Kenyan artists. What do you think about the Kenyan music? Kenyan music is really growing. Mm-hmm. Let's not lie. Mm-hmm. Let's not lie. Mm-hmm. Kenyan music's not like when we started around 2005 to 6 there was like few musician on the ground mm-hmm. nowadays man it's like everybody it's like everybody even even those kids they are releasing great stuff group great music mm-hmm. kenya music is really growing nice yeah what kenyan artist are you listening to now like now now like now now like in your playlist your most recent ninani that, that was supposed to be my secret <laughs> <laughs> tell you us know. yes yes Li- yes it, Lisa. Lisa? Yeah. yeah. There's Lisa mm-hmm. and Joere. Mhm. And of course Blake Billy. Yeah, yeah, those yeah. guys I'm really vibing their stuff. Yeah. They're dope. <laughs> nice. Dope, yeah. Nice. Yeah. What would you want to be remembered for? <laughs> oh, I'd like to be remembered like like uh, just as a, as a good person first of all. Mm-hmm. As a good person. Mhm. With my family on my family part like a, a great a great dad mm-hmm. a good father yeah. yes and a, yeah mm. a good a good father for my kids yeah yeah nice yeah. um now i'd want you to tell us any future projects we should be looking forward to i know there's a song coming out on the 30th of august yeah. is there anything else any other performances to look out for Yeah for now performers mm-hmm. no nope, mm-hmm. no I've I don't have any performers coming mm-hmm. soon but mm-hmm. anything that will be coming on my way mm-hmm. of course I'll be sharing it on my social media Okay yes nice mm-hmm. would you want to tell people your social media handles uh, Instagram is tito t i t o mm-hmm. underscore monaco mm-hmm. that is m o n a k o all right that's my instagram nice yeah. nice and you also mentioned your music can be found on what platforms all over the all, all of over them the, youtube them, yeah. spotify, spotify you, you also Apple, mentioned fiverr you guys these are everywhere everywhere, everywhere. Yeah. nice 
Definitely. Is yeah. there anything you would want to say as we end the show? Let's love each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Peace is something that we all need. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let's have peace, especially in Kenya. Because mm-hmm. people like us, we we grew up in Congo. Mm-hmm. We know how things can get bad. We, yes. We are, we've experienced it. Mm. So when you have peace, you mm-hmm. have to be grateful. Yes. Just for that word, peace. Mm. Yeah. When you have it, mm-hmm. it's something that you don't play with it. Peace is everything. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Thank you so so much Tito for yeah. coming through. Thank it you. was an honor being able to chat with you yeah. and I will definitely be looking forward to the concert that you guys will be throwing you yes. and Natalia yeah. yeah. and definitely be listening to your music. I will subscribe and I will follow. Thank, Thank you. you so so much guys. That was Tito Monaco right here on the Two Chapian Hour. I will play some of his music then we shall come back and have a chat. All right. Oh, oh, oh. 